guys and welcome to another video. If you if you watched my last video, which was at the classic car show that uh, I went to with Kevin, this is actually filmed on the same day, just this is in the evening when it's a bit cooler, if you know what I mean. Now I'm doing this video because recently in the past few days when it's been raining every now and then, I have had the windows up in the car, even though it has been warm, but you put the aircon on, you know how it is. And the aircon in my car stinks. Um, it's like stale water that's been there for two decades. That kind of funky smell. And I've always heard about these and I've never went and actually bought one um, until Francesca complained how much it stunk. I'm like, there you go, license to go and buy one of these. I'll show you what it is and this is how we're gonna try and contact, contact, combat this issue today. So then what we're gonna be using is this Meguiar's uh, like whole car re-air freshener, basically. So what you do, is a little can in there that you set off and it's just like an aerosol constantly coming out. And what you do is you leave it in there for 15 minutes and as that's going off, you'll have like your air con recirculating the air that's in the car. Um, it sits and like, and, well, it goes all around the car and freshes all the fabrics as well, in the boot, parcel shelf seats, carpets, and your aircon all at the same time. We are going to a wedding tomorrow and there's about four of us in the car, so the last thing we want is stinky clothes. Especially because I'm going to be looking all slick in a suit. Anyway, so I've vacuumed the car, uh, dusted all the surfaces and everything, and just make sure that there's no like other dirty solids hanging around. That sounds disgusting, I am so sorry. And now we're gonna go out, set it off. Right guys, so we're inside the car. Oh, take that out of gear, because we don't want it stored. We don't want it like jamming in gear as soon as I start the car. Um, yeah, so we're gonna start the engine, get it on uh, air recirculation, which will be this button here, put that on manually so it stays on. In most cars it is that car symbol with the recirculation thing on there that recycles the air that's in the cabin and puts it back through the aircon system. I think I'm just gonna pop it here, just pretty much bang in the middle. It's just gonna go shooting straight up and into the car. Plus, if I'm not putting on this fabric, then all this fabric's gonna get somewhere in it as well, which is pretty good. Then it'll recirculate, it'll go through the cabin, it'll go through the back, and we get nice, fresh interior yet again. smell fresh already. I've also got it on my phone for 15 minutes because that's how long you're meant to leave it going for and then when that's done we open the doors and let it ventilate for 15 minutes afterwards. So whilst that's all going off we're going to be doing something else in the meantime and I think there's something that I need to do. I think this is one of the saddest things that's happened in the car world recently. It's been all over the internet, basically. Especially in, like, in the UK. Rockingham, the UK famous racetrack known for as well for British touring cars driving there, hosting track of Mims Honda Day, is actually closing its doors. And it's gonna be at the end of this year. And to be fair, it's, it's pretty sad news. I've enjoyed a lot of events there. And, and personally for me, it's where I've lost my like, track day virginity. So yeah, I think we'll be keeping that on for as long as possible, to be fair, just for the memory. Because it was just such a cool venue and it's, it's a shame that it's had to go. Right, time's up. Let's get the doors open, get the boot open, let it all come out and I'm going to take the aerosol out to make sure it all comes out all the way. Oh, that is fresh. That is fresh. Oh. I'd say that's pretty much done. There's no, no sound coming out of it or anything, so it's definitely all used up. I'm going to leave the ventilation on, uh, the recycling on, the recycling, recir recirculation on. So that it gets some clean fresh air through as well, just so that there's no like residue from the aerosol sat in the aircon. I don't know if that's a thing, but it's something that I'm gonna do. Another 15 minutes, away we go. Right, that's another 15 minutes. I'm a bit annoyed with myself actually because 
although I had it on recirculation, what you can do with these is if you set obviously a temperature for your cabin temperature that you want, it then uses the fan speed accordingly to get to that temperature. You can override it and just put the fans to full. I didn't do that. So hopefully they were going fast enough to recirculate and, and get rid of it. But if not, the last five minutes of doing this, I've just cranked it up to full. So hopefully it still worked. I'm just gonna turn everything off. I'm just gonna let it ventilate a little bit more. I can smell it from where you are. That's the like freshness, that's the strength of the smell, of the freshness. You can smell it in the fabric, you can smell it through the aircon blowing through. It's, it's definitely, I would say get rid of it, but I don't know yet until it kind of like calms down a bit um, after a few days. What I'll do is I'll give it a few days and I'll, then, I'll, I'll let you know if it's still fresh and it still doesn't smell like crap. So, I'll see you then. Right guys, so it's been about a week, uh, over a week later now actually. And I'll tell you something, especially if I've not been in the car like all day, say if I've been at work, I get back in the car after it's all been closed for a few hours and I can still smell that fresh smell that it's left behind. And when you get used to it, when you're in the car for a certain amount of time then it, and then you turn the aircon on again, you start to smell it again. It is really good. It's made everything smell so much better in there, the fabrics, the aircon, everything. So the Maguire's re-air, fresher, whatever, <laughs> uh, yeah, gets a big thumbs up from me. It really does do the job you need it to do. Thank you for watching this video, guys. I hope it was really helpful for you. As much as it was helpful for me actually trying this product out, I really, like I said, I really would recommend it. Before I go, I want to do a quick shout out to another YouTuber. I have shouted them out before. Uh, it's a good friend of mine, Autistic Al. That's his YouTube name. I'll put a link for it um, in this video. I actually did um, a parody, like FN Lou parody video with him that he really wanted to do. He pretty much ripped the whole script himself. Um, I do like scripted, uh, like talking in it and all that kind of stuff, which is something I'm not really used to. It's really out of my comfort zone, but uh, I really wanted to do it with him and I, I think it really did pay off. So if you like, like meme style comedy, or, and you could take things lightheartedly and not take offense to bad language or out like that, then 100% go and check it out. I've had managed to link the actual video, go on to his uh, channel and it's basically the thumbnail is me and him looking at each other stood in these two different cars. <laughs>